Hey guys, another video I wanted to share with you today. So if you, this is a power supply for a Raspberry Pi 5. Now, um, if, if you watched my previous video that I uploaded just before this video, I did a review of a, you know, quick unboxing type review of a Raspberry Pi 4 power adapter. And now I'm doing a Raspberry Pi 5 power adapter, also from Canakit. Now, <clears throat> One of the, a few key things, uh, I'll tell you some of the things you want to look for for the Raspberry Pi 5 and why I picked this one and the differences between a Raspberry Pi 4 and a Raspberry Pi 5 adapter. So this one, um, key thing is, let's see if it actually shows you, yeah, it says 45 watts, blah, blah, blah. All right, it'll tell you the output right here, 5.1 volts and 5 amps. So yeah, so like 5 volt and 5 amp is what is recommended for the Raspberry Pi 5. Without that, um, you know, you could run into under voltage issues and stuff like that. So if you don't wanna have power issues, just make sure you get enough amps, right? So not all power, so for example, the power adapter or the, the power supply that I did in the previous video, this one only gives you, uh, so this one only gives you 3.5 amps. That's great for a Raspberry Pi 4, not so much for a Raspberry Pi 5. So this is the one I'd recommend for the Raspberry Pi 5. So it's a little bit more expensive. Um, it's USB-C, and you notice one of the differences? This one does not come with a, a little adapter that has a power switch on it because you don't need the power switch on built into this because unlike the Raspberry Pi 4, the Raspberry Pi 5 actually has a switch on the board right here. So you have a little power button right here on the board. Now, personally, I think that's slight, it's kind of nice that it's built into the board, but also it's a little bit more awkward to press this rather than push something on on um, you know your power adapter itself. But, um, Either case, you no longer need to buy one of these with, um, you know, never, you don't need to keep in mind that you would want to have a, a button on it. With the Raspberry Pi 4, I made sure I got, uh, you know, one of these power supplies with the button on the on the power supply. With the, with the Pi 5, you don't need that. So just get a really simple adapter like this, you know, 45 watt, USB-C. Um, yeah, make sure you got the right volts and the right amps. Um, this one was recommended for the Raspberry Pi 5. It's from Canakit, which is a, a brand I trust. I buy a lot of Raspberry Pi accessories from them, and they're really good. I like them a lot, and this adapter was highly rated. A lot of their stuff is highly rated, and I basically trust it, and it literally comes out and tells you down here, compatible with the Raspberry Pi 5. So key things, good ratings, um, brand I trust, um, enough watts for the Raspberry Pi 5, and it is recommended for the Raspberry Pi 5. So that's why I went with this one. And you'll note that I am in the United States, so I have plug that looks like this. Um, you'll probably want to get the equivalent thing if you are in another locale. And that's about it. So <clears throat> yeah, you might want to give me a thumbs up. If you have your own comments or questions, leave a comment down below. And um, yeah, if you want more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, we do a lot of other great stuff with, with single board computers, Ravis Ray Pies, um, like robots, electronics. Uh, we do networking, Linux stuff, coding, servers and services, and all sorts of great tech stuff you're going to want in your feed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't let you know when we uh, come out with new videos. And oh, before I forget, make sure you check the link in the description for where you can pick up this exact same uh, this exact same model. This same, I'm going to put a link to where you can buy this on Amazon and also maybe some other locations if I find them. I'm going to try to put some links in the description for where you can pick up this same adapter. And um, yeah, so that's uh, that's about it for today. Give me a thumbs up. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys on that next video.